in terms of AAA and in terms of encryption and decryption. We are going to discuss that. Followed by how do we create an application domain? What is an application domain? How do we create an application domain? How do we give an user access to an account? And how do we create a user account at the data path? And how do we set the file permissions? What are all the permissions that we can give to an user ID? That will be seen here. Followed by the basic understanding of the file management. What is a file management system? How do you upload a certificates and the files? And how do you use a public certificate and a private key at the data bar and in order to implement a security? So any idea on public certificate and private key? Um, public search is any certificate of the... Mm -hmm. Any website, right? The one yes. which you can yes. download yes. using yes. browser. Correct. So, public certificate, as the name itself indicates, it can be shared with others, whereas private key is a confidential which we are not supposed to share. So, how do you make use of a public certificate and a private key in data bar in order to implement an SSL? So, in this session, we are going to see the complete SSL. Like how do you configure an SSL proxy profile? What is a forward profile? What is a reverse profile? What is a two-way SSL? The complete SSL will be discussed here. Okay. Followed by how do you use a friend-side handlers to configure a service? And how do you accept a request message from a friend-side handler? We are going to see it. See, just to iterate, so as part of the training, even I'm covering the basics of like the development as well because most of the cases what I have seen is as an admin when we are working on if someone asks us with respect to something related to development we will not be able to explain them why is it service is failing or what, what are we doing in this service and hence so in order to overcome this I have included even the admin with development topics as well like configuring a services like a web service proxy a multi protocol gateway an XML firewall testing of the services and troubleshooting as well, which are the basic development activities. Okay. So as part of the training, so we'll be seeing how do you use a data power appliance, like how do you upgrade your firmware? How do you take a secure backup and restore it? And see, this is how your data power's GUI is going to look like. Okay. So this is how your data pass view is going to look like. How do you log into the data power appliance through a GUI? How do you connect to the data power appliance through a command line interface, which is your CLI mode? How do you connect your data power appliance over an XML management interface? How do you take a secure backup and restore? How do you do an export and import configurations? How do you generate your certificates on the data power? So all those will be discussed as part of the training. So these are the overall topics what we are going to be discussing. And on top of it, if you have any other topic that needs to be discussed, also, yes, you can let me know. We can discuss those topics as well. So the basic administration parts, the basic development part, testing, troubleshooting, error handling, everything will be discussed as part of the training. Even if you want to have a basic idea on XSLTs, how do you write an XSLT code, how do you use that XSLT in the data path to do a transformations, yes, we can discuss those XSLTs and error handling as well. How do you test your services using a SOAP UI, yes, we can see those as well. <coughs> 